Shalom, it's your brother Makaza again. This is Scriptures No Vain Opinions, calling you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and wherever else the Holy Seed is scattered back to our God, the God of Israel, where the true Israelites of the Bible repent for the kingdom is at hand, which true repentance is coming back to his law, statutes, and commandments, and having faith in the Messiah, his son, the king of our nation, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his name is Yahweh Shah. <clears throat> all right. And I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the Most High and the name of his son. All right. So, um, you know, I'm back cutting. I mean, <laughs> I just been, been cutting all week, you know. Uh, but this, uh, I wanted to do this because this is, again, this white supremacy is still running rampant. Um, and the misunderstanding of these scriptures is just evident for these people. And uh, this is off of, uh, I just wanted to get on the, uh, get a screenshot of what I wanted to address. Um, I, the, the, the guy that said this, I mean, he's irrelevant. Um, also, um, you know, this, yeah, basically the, the guy that said all this stuff, he's irrelevant. So I'm not necessarily... Um, I'm just trying to, uh, show edification. So this is, um, all right, so, lock you. so yeah, this, this is in regards to, uh, Yahweh Shah being a black man. All right. So the same, and then I'm tired. I'm so sick and tired of seeing these same scriptures being you oh david was ready it said he was ready uh yeah the nazarenes are like you, you, like the stuff that we're seeing and i already cut all of this with um and 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 brothers brothers in israel there's been many videos showing that what the understanding of the word ready is but uh, i've done a video i also showed how during the new testament times leprosy was still running around in israel proving that the jews uh um during that time where uh dark skinned people okay so um you know so th this is uh what i'm i'm addressing and breaking down again have to be breaking down these these white supremacy lies but basically uh this clown is saying uh you you all say that esau means red uh white well ruddy means red and then again showing you how the white man is the devil as i said in the last in the ruddy video again when it comes to animals ready all of a sudden now is brown uh you know color brown and all of that kind of stuff but then when it comes to people oh ready means uh a, you know white now it, it, the red red you know which esau the so-called white man is okay but no that's not not um the the true un, that's not the truth basically all right so uh but King David already uh, showed that so if anyone wants an understanding of that uh you can watch that video now he brought out uh you know the lamentations and th this is yeah the same thing ruddy does not mean red and then it says their visage is blacker than a coal which that vicious means their face okay so and then i want to get something real quick close these <clears throat> this is the book of daniel chapter 12 and 10 and it says, many shall be purified and made white. So dumbass cracker would be like, oh, they, oh that's, that means that they're going to be made white. They're going to be white people like and, and tried, which we know this is talking about being purified, being clean. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So we know that this is talking about uh, being pure. So every time yeah they always want to say every time like the word white isn't in, in consideration you know it's talking about like yeah someone being white which is which is not the case all right but this is what i wanted to get into because like i said this is uh this this white supremacy got has to stop um matter of fact i'm missing a a screenshot actually i'll, I'll read it from my phone because he talked about the color of uh, the wool. <clears throat> Just a second. Um, all 
Okay, so yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just read it because uh, I forgot to add that. But he said, again, Nazarites are originally white ex except for when starvation came upon them and their skin withered. Which, that's a lie, and I'm going to later on show, uh, even though this is not about that, about Lamentations 4 and 8. Um, but I'm going I'm to show something, because that's not true when uh, famine famine uh, strikes. Um, that that's Basically, that's not true, but I'm going to show that a little later. And then... Um, he he said, and don't get carried away with his hair being like wool. The color of his hair is white like wool. His hair is not wool. Don't twist God's holy word or add or take away any part of his word. But yet this guy is doing doing it. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna show what's the significance of uh, his hair being compared to wool. Okay, so just just to show that. All right, but uh, so back back to the screenshot. All right, so that that part right there where you can see where he said his hair is not wool. So that's the part I was reading. Now it says the color of Jesus Christ. Let's read. Yeah, um, yeah. He he goes into the fourteen fifteen uh, verses fourteen and fifteen. Notice that his hair and his head is white, not black, and that's the same argument that 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 dummy um, Stephen Anderson had head talking about his his head and his hair trying to in, uh, equate it with his face which I'm, I'm about i'm gonna show that notice that his feet at, is as fine brass as if they burned in a furnace which would glow from the heat of the fire and therefore would not be black but that that's not it either but again i'm gonna show history i'm gonna show i'm gonna prove things i'm, I'm not just gonna this is of this guy's heart like this stuff like He's just like, that's what I'm saying. The whole thing is with these guys, they read these different versions and they, they have no understand. I don't know if this guy is an Edomite. I don't know if he's an Israelite, but for him to be saying all this stuff about he's not white, he he must, he can't be no Negro. Cause I mean, it's, it's, it's still, and if a Negro out here is still talking about, uh, and that's why I'm doing this video as well, because uh, even if somebody wants to say that Revelation 1, 14 and 15 is not necessarily speaking of Yahweh's color, Jesus's color and not de describing his uh, what he looked like. The, I mean, common sense would just show you that's that's what I'm going to show what the Romans said about the Jews. OK, so we, we can put two and two together that the Jews and, and then, like I said, with the leprosy, if if the Jews were not a people of color, yet there, there's a, a Yahweh Shai, uh, Jesus was given the law to go and heal the lepers. And, and then, yeah, the, the examples that I brought out in my leprosy video, again, you could check that out. But again, this is all this stuff about the glowing and, and all of that, you know, so um Therefore, would not be black. Notice that his countenance shine like the sun, and his strength, which is not black, like. But he's. But again, the, these. This guy, just like the the clowns, Stephen Anderson, like it's. They say he's not white, or they'll say he's like a lot of times these these Edomites would be like he's not white or he's not black either, and then they'll then they'll interpret these scriptures making it seem like they're white, yeah or uh, yeah like is uh yeah Christ is white. Okay, so um all right, so let's let's get into this, man. So, um This is Revelation 1 and 14. So his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like undefined brass as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So, I want to get a few things and I want to go to the Bible hub and let's look at just certain things and and, and this is going to tie into my these uh, what I went into the, the Greek now again the new international version says his feet were like bronze so it already established we know bronze is a derivative of brown okay it basically it is brown glowing in a furnace so even so let's say a brown it's like brown that's it's going around a, a brown uh you know what i'm saying so that that alone cuts that i mean even the new living translation his feet were like polished bronze refined in a furnace 
po polished bronze. Again, that's still brown. And I'm, I'm going to show pictures and, and things like that. English Standard Version, his feet were like burnished bronze. Again, that's that's brown. Um, all right, so, and a lot of, and, and like I said, man, this this white man is is a demon and he's always changing things again so just like these new these new versions of the scriptures again they they want to keep all the black stuff out of the scriptures like like with with Christ yeah he's glowing and all of this the, he was a spirit and and all of this and then they they also take out the commandments which I showed in the Paul uh lesson how they they take the word commandments out so I'm supposed to sit here and listen to you you know, talk about Christ is not black and he's, he's a white man and, and burnish. And, and that means glowing and all of that. But then, yeah, you're this, you're still running around here t taking stuff out of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't even know half the stuff that, that there's a lot being taken out of these new Bibles. All right. But again, uh, I'm going to cut, cut it at the source, man. The, the, the um the history and then I'm I'm you know and the scriptures are saying what it's saying but all right so I'm gonna close this and then yeah that's that's a video I'm gonna show in a minute um so when you go down here it says yeah it says some yeah when you read that it says some metal like gold if not more precious all right but when you go down here what's inter interesting is burnished it says burnished copper right here. All right, so you look at um, again burnish burnish bronze as a already a derivative of brown. All right, so you see all of this is a derivative of brown. You see even the, the image, but basically you see a, a derivative of brown. Okay, and basically is brown. All right, so then yeah, burnish burnish copper. Same thing, all right. But it says that it it burned in a furnace, as if it burned in a furnace. Okay, so matter of fact, and um, Stop, dude. I hope the camera got that. I didn't mean to. I'm gonna put this on real quick. So th this this is yeah, yeah the gun toting atheist. So even though he's an atheist, he he's he's showing cutting you you damn dudes that's christian you know what i'm saying that's coming against us and and, and twisting these words and, and again this white supremacy saying that christ is black white and all of this that, that's what they they fed us in slavery that christ was a white man and and the apostles is white and all of that so yeah you know and that and that shows and and again where i seen this was the yeah shield squad these guys the vocab and all of the these other guys, but this is where I'm seeing the comments. So this is what is breeding. This is your follower. Your followers are are dudes that are still teaching that Christ is a white man. Okay, you know what I'm saying? That that again, it's 2018. Y'all ain't know by now that Christ is not a white man. Again, you know, and the history of Cicero Borgia and and so on and so forth. But but like I said, the damn go the gun toning atheist is 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 cutting y'all. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I hope the camera got that. I didn't it mean did. To... It's been recording the whole fucking time. Dude, I didn't mean to do that. Man, I'm sorry about the, the cussing. You know how Esau get rest. down. But... <laughs> yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's so retarded, dude. I can't believe I got you. Dude. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's smoking. That's All right, so, I mean, yeah, ver verse... Uh... Yeah, so as fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. Now, I just got that with the copper, right? The burnished copper we've seen in the definition. So, yes, we, we, we head over to Daniel uh, 10 and 6. I'll just get to the point. His body also was like the braille and his face as the appearance of lightning and his eyes as, as lamps of fire and his arms and his feet like in color. So we see the word color to polish brass. All right, and his voice, uh, and the voice of his words, like the voice of a multitude. All right, so polish, polish brass. What we we just, I mean, it, burnish. Matter of fact, that's that's why I wanted to go into the definition. So, 
burnish polish same thing all right so yeah burnish copper uh what we just got in revelation all right so burnish brass okay and yeah there'll be a, oh that's more so gold but we just established that it would be burned in the furnace and we just got and that video that i just pulled the the um the shell was was gold it was it was pretty much like obviously we know what uh bullet shells look like all right so um our bullet casings so um you know so let's go to um well yeah Re revelation 2 and 18 i mean it's pretty much the same thing um uh, and unto the angel of the church of uh Tira, right this, these things saith the son of God who hath his eyes like unto a, a flame of fire and his feet like are like fine brass brass and and then that's a cut as well uh, I mean for sure we know this is talking about Christ because it says the saith uh, the son of God okay we know which is Christ all right but I wanted to get two scriptures or three actually matter of fact one Matter of fact, I'll start it with Colossians. Okay, so Colossians 15, or I start at 14. And whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. And, and that ties into Revelations uh, 3 and 14. And unto the angel of the, the church of the lesser dean, uh, let Ladesians write these things saith the Amman, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. All right, so we see that Christ is the image. It says he's the image of the invisible God because we know the most size is spirit. But it says the, the firstborn of every creature. Now, for those saying that, going back to the wool thing, oh, his, his, it's the scripture said his hair was white like wool not it was white and woolly and all of that kind of stuff but let's say we just establish he's the image of the most high okay so this is daniel 7 and 9 i beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow and and the hair of his head like the pure wool so no doubt we see that his the hair of his head like the pure wool so why why is it similar to what is being said in to in revelation his throne was like the uh, fiery flame and his wills as burning fire okay so even if uh, like i say even if someone wants to say that the description of christ is a vision or but with common sense when he lived on the scene and the apostles seen him the um you know, every everyone's seen him, and then, like I said, with the whole leprosy thing, it they had to be dark skin, and then with the history about what the Romans said about the Jews at that time, you know what I'm saying? It you got to put the pieces together. How can he be white? At, that's what we're saying. How can he be white in one instance when he's on Earth, and then when he he's now like uh, described as like a a, a a black, you know, you know, dark skin, you know what I'm saying? Figure, okay. So it, it just doesn't make any sense. But matter of fact, let's get uh, this is Ezekiel 27 and 18. All right. So we see that it was the he, Yahushua's hair was was white like wool. His father had it, it clearly said he had hair um, that was pure, pure wool. OK, this is uh, Ezekiel 27 and 18. Damascus was thy merchant and the multitude of the wares of thy making for the multitude of all riches in the wine of Helbron and white wool. So that's first of all, we see that. <clears throat> so this one I'm going to go into first John. So white wool. OK, because we, we know that Christ is the lamb so that's that's also symbology as well john 1 and 29 the next day john seeth jesus coming unto him and said behold the lamb of god which taketh away the sin of the world okay so and i'm, I'm gonna do another 
uh, video, going to be a volume three showing that world does mean Israel. It, it represents Israel because verse 31, and I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore, I'm come baptizing with water. But, you know, that's that's for another lesson for the next. Uh, well, not the, necessarily the next lesson, but, um, you know, so moving on. Uh, so we know so that it's not ironic, uh, you know, and it's not crazy to see, see why. Uh, it, the scriptures say his hair was like white, like wool, okay? Because yeah, he was uh, a symbolic a symbology of the lamb, and also again, he's he's the image of the Most High, his father. So like like father, like son. So again, he had the the woolly hair. Now even even if someone like I say, whether it's a he had an afro or short hair or whatever the case is. You know, it, it was it was the same. It was the texture because again, it's being compared to wool. You know what I'm saying? So, it's but in and for for damn sure, it's not saying that his hair was straight and long and you know what I'm saying, Brad Pitt. So I mean, this whole thing about him being white that's that's not even in the equation. All right, but this is um, Matthew six and seventeen. So I want to cut that whole thing with the head and hair. Equating that to the face. This is Matthew 6 and 17. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face. So why didn't the scripture say anoint thy head and wash, wash the, you know what I'm saying? If the head is, why, why would the face be there if the head represents the everything? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that doesn't, <clears throat> that doesn't even make sense. But even on that aspect, that's that's a cut. All right. So um, and then, you know, even with, uh, let's say, the show Moses. So if if those like this, this clown saying that Christ is white because he's saying he's white, he's not, <clears throat> you know, just color doesn't matter, which a lot of them do say. But then they, they retract and then, then it's a it's a, a, a doctrine it's, it's deceit. In that, in that, yeah, oh, color doesn't matter. It matters about the message. And then, yeah, when you really get into him, oh, no, he, yeah, that's this kind of shit that they'll come up, come up with, you know, excuse my language, but that's, that's what it is. All right. So, um, is it, you know, that underlining white supremacy, that's what that is. But like I said, it, this can't be no Negro talking about, oh, this white, the, the Nazarenes was white and all, you know what I'm saying? So. It's because we know there's a lot of other than these these Negroes, you know what I'm saying, that are coming against us. Uh, again, we've been new that it was all these Edomites making videos against us. Deuteronomy I, and I already smashed that. And I'm going to do a, a, <clears throat> a video on the fake uh, prophecies scripturally. And I'm going to bring out some history or at least some, um, you know, excerpts from from books. But um you know they've been they've been making these videos against us Deuteronomy you know 28 and 68 is not uh you know talking about us here and you know what I'm saying so again this is the stuff that they come up with oh the ready the ready argument you know what I'm saying still pushing white supremacy all right but um yeah so and then yeah what I was saying was uh we know that Moses or, or actually, yeah, I'm not going to touch this. But basically, you know that how Moses got leprosy. So for someone saying that Christ is white and all of this, then you you would have to say that he was he was leprosist or he was albino. OK, you know, so um, if that's if that's the case, that that, that would have to be the argument uh, that you're trying to say that, yeah, Christ is an albino because it, it's been, it's proven, I already just proved it right now that he, he was not, and I'm, I'm going to further, further prove it, uh, that he was not a white man. All right. Um, yeah, just a second. Yeah. So, and like, like, and that's, yeah, that's, that's the point I wanted to get as well is because it's like, if you're saying that, Christ is a white man, then you might, and then we see that Moses, he was a Levite, 
All right. Then you you also see, um, which I was going to bring it out. I'm, I'm still bringing it out. But the whole thing with Paul being compared to Egyptians, which we know the Egyptians were black. So you you're mean to tell me that Christ is from the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Judah is a bunch of white people. Then Levi, they're dark skinned people. Then Benjamin is dark skinned people. No, <laughs> you know, that's why I'm saying you would have to say that Christ is an albino. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, I mean, I mean, the thing, the things that these guys come up with, man, these Edomites or like I said, whoever this guy is. But I, like I say, can't be no Negro talking that foolishness. Now, if it, now, if a, if a ne I know Negroes like to say, yeah, oh, the Revelations is not talking about the color. But th that's why I'm making this video to show that yeah, it is <laughs> and, it, it, and with, without a shadow of a doubt. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, so for there, from there, uh, close all these out. All right, yeah, so, yeah, that the video is Burnished Brass, if y'all want to look that up. And then, like, yeah, the images of Christ, like, you, like, during the, um, uh, Renaissance, like, them whitewashing the images of Christ. So, it was already a, a known fact that Christ was black back then. Okay, so I mean that's why I'm saying it. even even with with these clowns like with the vocab thing and, and Shield Squad and these clowns, it's like there's stuff that predates One West. These guys still worried about One West, One West, One West, IUIC, GMS, so on and so forth. The camps, but it, there's stuff that predates all of this. Again, oh yeah, the camps is teaching Revelation one and four as if the the Renaissance and they didn't have to whitewash the images of, of Black Christ. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they don't they don't go to these they they worried about us. They don't they won't go to the scholars and uh, and you know in academia that know these things, okay? And they they not gonna go over there. Oh, you guys are teaching false. Why are you putting books out that saying Christ is black? Why are you uh, showing that the paintings and so on and so forth? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. So uh, that's why they they have nothing to stand on. You know, but um, but here, yeah, just show show the the wool texture again. Yeah, the Lamb of God. You know, so this is, um, you know, symbology as well. Like I said, of of uh, the the hair being com compared to wool. But again, he's he, he like father, like son. All right. Um, all right. So I was looking at the Hebrew. Uh, something else, but uh, all right, here we go. All right, so let's touch into the history now. All right, um, so first, what Josie, I want to get into what Josephus said, and I'll, I'll put these the links in the uh, description. All right, so um, yeah, this is uh, from Real History WW. Dot com, and like I said, I'll put the, uh, the the link in the description. But it says the first century Jewish writer Josephus, thirty-seven to one hundred A.D., penned the earliest non-biblical testimony of Jesus. He reportedly had access to official Roman records on which he bases information and his work, uh, Helios, Heliosis, or the capture of Jerusalem, written around seventy-two A.D. Josephus discussed the human form of Jesus and his wonderful works. Unfortunately, his texts have uh, passed through Christian hands, which altered them, which, again, Christian hands all, always altering things. Okay, just like the, the, the books, the different versions, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but, um, and, and we all know, and then, then on top of that, I want to add, like the Illuminati, all the the higher ups know the again you ne simple Negroes that is coming against us do not know that the man they, that that the Illuminati know all of this stuff that we're saying. They're again they know that Negroes are simple man. 
Again, that's why they're putting false information, false information, but they're hiding things. If we're not the real Jews and, and you know, we're Africans and we're Hamites, why, why is all this information being hidden and put here, put here, and, and symbology here, or um, uh, sublims here, sublims there? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if, if we're just, yeah, it's a one West thing, why, why are they... Like I said, stuff that's predating, stuff that the Illuminati's trying to hide, take away here and there. You know what I'm saying? You got fake Jews saying that um, uh, we're, the, we're the real Jews. You know what I'm saying? Books being written. You know, but these guys aren't addressing these things. You know, they're not going to go, oh, yeah, Arthur Coaster, this is the book is all false. All these books on the, the Jews not being the Jews, they're all false. And you know what I'm saying? They're not, you know, they're just worried about, oh, IUIC said that the, the Jews are, are, um, are only Gentiles. You know, oh, no, that's, that's a lie, such and such. So I'm going to make... 20 damn videos against the Hebrew Israel, oh, you black Hebrew Israelites, this, but the law is done away with, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, but, uh, but yeah, removing, removing official material, uh, offensive material rather, uh, fortunately, however, biblical scholar Robert, uh, Esler in a classic 1931 study of Josephus, uh, test. Josephus' testimony was able to reconstruct the unaltered testimony based on a newly discovered old Russian translation that preserved the original Greek text. According to Esler's reconstruction, the oldest non-biblical description of Jesus reads as follows. At that time, also, there appeared a certain man of magic power, if it be meet to call him a man whose name is Jesus, whom certain Greeks call a son of a god, but his disciples called the true prophet. He was a man of simple appearance, mature age, black skinned. Okay, so here's Josephus. So are, am I going to listen to to some Edomite or like I said, or Negro, or whatever? If if he, but I know he can't be a Negro. But but even Negroes that's coming against us talking about some, yeah, Revelation it doesn't represent the color of Yahweh Shai. But again. This is an outside source, all right? So, um, black skinned it, short growth, three cubits tall, hunchback, uh, yeah, pro nat heels, you know, uh, a long nose, eyebrows meeting above the nose. You know, that that's the point is the dark skin. That's what I wanted to get, all right? So, um, and, yeah, somebody might be like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, the the he was like an Arab or something like that. But again, Israel was always compared to Africans. All right. So yes, and and what what I brought out in my leprosy video showing how Naaman the Syrian had got leprosy. So he yeah, everyone back then was dark skinned, but we was always compared to, uh, you know, Egyptians or um Africans. Okay. So um. Yeah. So it says um. Yeah, y'all could read it uh, on your own, but that's that's the point I wanted to get was from Josephus. Now, let's get into uh, what the Romans said about the Jews. So, again, I already did the video on on uh, on leprosy to show that the, the Jews at that time. Uh, you know, during that time, you know, if they were to have leprosy, shows that they were dark skinned. Now, the, the, a Roman historian named Tacticus, who lived about CE 90, said many assert that the Hebrews are a race of Ethiopian origins. And a lot of times when you look at this, it's, it's different. It all pretty much says the same thing, but it's just different wording. Like I seen one where it says that they were the color of the Ethiopians. And then like when you actually go to the his, histories uh, by Tacticus, it says many assert us that the Jews are descended from those Ethiopians who were driven by fear and hatred to uh, immigrate from their uh, home country when Caiaphas was king. All right. So, uh, yeah. So point blank period. And then we know that the, the term Ethiopian uh, goes back to uh, the Greek Ethiops, meaning like black face, burnt, 
so on and so forth. So, yeah, they're being compared to uh, now, yeah, the Ethiopians, but also the, yeah, the complexion as well. Okay, so, um, and then, yeah, J.A. Rod Rogers, for the Romans to have considered them Ethiopians, uh, yeah, this, I, I believe it's from the book of um, Nature Knows No Color Line, but um, for the Romans to have considered them Ethiopians is a clear indication of their color because the Ethiopians are a known black people. Tacticus also said the Hebrews were Egyptians who left Egypt during a uh, disease outbreak. Okay, and and the history also shows, man, you had it, even in the scriptures shows you that uh, Israel was living in Egypt. All right, so um, but let's get let's get the color of the real Egyptians. So it all ties into play, because again, these same Edomites that say that Christ is white, the Jews are white. They sw twist these scriptures like I've been showing, yeah, with the Nazarene thing. And, and you know, just yeah, just with Christ and everything, showing you. Um, matter of fact, let me get. Um, showing you that. Um, hold on. Yeah, that that it all ties ties in together because again, they say that the Egyptians were white as well. So they say the Hebrews white, the Egyptians was white, you know what I'm saying? But that this is far from the truth. So, um, all right, so let's get, so first of all, let's, this is Acts 21 and 37. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, may I speak unto thee who, who said, canst thou speak Greek? Art not thou that Egyptian? which before these days made us an uproar and led us out into the wilderness 4,000 men, uh, 4,000 men that were murderers, all right? And then Paul said, but Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarshish, a city of Celia, uh, Celica, a citizen of no mean city, and I beseech thee, suffer me to speak unto the people. So obviously he established that he's not, He's a Jew. He's an Israelite, not an Egyptian. He's not African. But even on on that, let's go go with Moses as well. He was compared to an Egyptian. Okay, verse nineteen with the the Midianite. Okay, uh, Exodus two and nineteen, and they said, an Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds, and also drew water uh, enough for us, and uh, watered the flock. Okay, so he was compared to an Egyptian. All right. So um, now let's see what the Egyptians look like. Because, again, Esau saying that they're white. Now, this is the, like, and I said all, all, the, all of these I'm going to put in the link description. All right. All ancient Greek uh, scholars among the most uh, respected said that the Egyptians, they had seen when they came in, in Africa were black. Here are testimonies chosen from those compiled by Chaka, Chaka, uh, Auntie Diop. And, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to try to say that, but, <laughs> but pages 35 and to 39 Herodotus known as the father of history said clearly, indeed, the Chaldeans, a people living along the black sea are a Egyptian race. I had, uh, conjured conject, uh, Con conjecture myself after two uh, in instances first because they have uh, black skin and fuzzy hair Aristotle Greek scholar perhaps the most influential on western thought today said those who are too black are cowards this applies to the Egyptians and Ethiopians other Africans okay um I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, but great Greek poet described the Egyptians selling away. I noticed the crew with its black members bringing out the white tunics. Okay. And then, uh, Lucien, the na navigator, Greek writer wrote a scene between two Greeks and made one of his characters describing an Egyptian. This boy is not only black, but is also slot with, uh, t uh, two slender legs 
his uh, hair gathered back in a braid. Uh, Dio, Diodorus of Sil, uh, Silcal, uh, who thought that the rest of Africa was populated from Egypt, reports the testimony of other Africans. The Ethiopians, i.e. the Sudanese, other blacks, say that the Egyptians are one of their colonies, which was conducted in Egypt by Osiris. Okay, so I mean this this is just cutting, cutting because all mind you this is these are from Greek Greek historians, all right. So for for them for in Acts twenty one for the Greek to even say that, uh, you know during that time shows you that the Egyptians was black at that time before the the invasion which yeah right here even during the roman occupation that is to say 250 years just before the arab invasion and despite the massive and uninterrupted presence of whites in egypt for 600 years uh am amian marcelin a friend of the roman empire emperor julian says the men of egypt are for the most brown and black okay so I mean that that's a cut right there, all right. So just to show, um, and then yeah, I wanted to get yeah how the the Lord fled into Egypt. Okay, yeah, verse thirteen, Matthew two and thirteen. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. And be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. And we know Herod was an a Edomite. And then, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to show some of those those things. Well, not necessarily for Herod, but um, in regards to the fake Jews as well. Um, so, you know, that's that's been the lesson. Uh, you know, I hope brothers and sisters was edified. I mean, I smashed this so... Even so, if you want to run with the, the idea that Revelation is not speaking of the appearance of Christ and, you know, whether it's his, 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 when he comes back on this earth, this is how he's, because even the scriptures say he's not going to meet us as a man, you know what I'm saying? But, but even so, during the time of the apostles, they seen him. You know what I'm saying? They they seen his works. Then on top of that, again, he's the uh, image of the invisible power. We know that Yahweh God has uh, you know hair like wool, so on and so forth. All right. So and then yeah, like the history I brought out, Josephus clearly saying that he had uh, woolly hair, or I mean um, that he was black black skinned, you know, or black basically. All right. So um, you know that's been the lesson. Hope brothers and sisters was edified. Until the next lesson, Shalom all.